Hey everybody, today I want to talk about pots and pricing. Now I knew people got excited about pricing. I learned that last week when we had our color combo sale. You guys came out in full force and we really appreciate all those pre-sales on those. Uh, but I didn't realize that pots would be such a big topic. And I learned that yesterday when I posted a photo of this pot and I asked the question, what color is this pot without calling it terracotta? And holy cow, people came out in full force. And the amazing thing is that just about every suggestion was legit, like things we need to consider. And the reason why I'm asking this question is because I think it's strange. I think I'm the only person this, in the industry who must think this because everybody calls this plastic pot terracotta. And I just think it's strange that we sell this as a terracotta pot and, and this as a terracotta pot. Quite a difference, but the industry doesn't seem to care but I do. Uh, I wanted to come up with another name for this color of plastic pot. And boy, on Facebook, you guys really came through loads of excellent suggestions. A lot of them were food related. So we had like gingerbread and burnt peach and some salmons and lots of other ones uh, that were really, really good. Uh, a lot of them also were kind of more like earth and brick and clay. Uh, that came into the same problem as terracotta because we were talking about a material. Uh, so those, kind of got knocked down, but they're really, really good suggestions. And if we weren't talking about pots, I probably would have went with some of those. But anyway, one type of thinking kind of came through and was very clever and very interesting. And we were seriously considering it. And it was a play on my mom's name, Netta. It was either uh, Netacata or Terranetta. And we loved both those ideas. And so we were really thinking like, how can we make that work? The only problem is, is that my mom loves every single color but there is one color that she just is not keen on and that's anything orange. So naming a pot that has orange in it after her, she wouldn't like that at all. So that was out. But then we started thinking maybe we could do kind of a play with my mom and my dad's name because we happen to have another pot. It's a twin in another color. So maybe this could be Denicata and this one could be Tananetta. And so that really started coming to the forefront as a, you know like a true legit option uh, but there's some issues with that too and we were thinking about it more and more uh, and then we kept going back to the food suggestions because of course things like gingerbread and sugar cookie kind of started coming to mind the only problem with that is I don't think I could fill orders all day with gingerbread and sugar cookie and not be starving the whole day long so that was out uh, so finally I think we have set our sights on a name for each of these, two different names, uh, and I think we're committed to this, although if we wake up tomorrow with regrets, we will change our mind. Uh, this one we are going to call cinnamon, and this one brown sugar. So brown sugar was pretty popular uh, on the list, and cinnamon was in there as well. So you guys did help us come up with these, and we really appreciate it. Uh, leave uh, kind of a comment either on Facebook or on YouTube, and let us know which you like, because it could influence our decision, we're pretty close to getting there. Once we open the online store, we're probably gonna stick with whichever one we do, although we can always change it next year. So uh, go ahead and leave a comment and let us know. So now let me get back to pricing because I'll get back to pots later. Uh, for anybody who shopped with us before, you're probably used to our standard pot is this here. It's a four inch pot. And this is what most of our annuals come in. And so, we have this back this year, uh, but we did have to do a price increase. Uh, we are gonna be charging $5.50 for this. So it's about a 16% increase, which is actually at or below the industry norm right now, which is unfortunate. Um, our biggest expenses are number one, the plastic. Uh, that's gone up crazy. And most of our plastic is uh, produced in the United States, but they're having trouble with labor. They're having trouble with getting materials and then the freight to get it here is expensive. There's just a lot of reasons why that's expensive. The other thing is heating these greenhouses has gone up this year. So uh, we're up against that. And then the other ex a big expense is our freight. Sorry about that. And uh, the freight has gone up tremendously this year. So uh, we actually canceled our Florida order that we usually have uh, because last year the freight was more than the cost of the flowers. And they already told us the price is going up significantly from there. So. So this size, 550, and then we would have our five inch pot, which is this, not this one, this one back here with the purple petunia in it, uh, this side. Now, it doesn't matter what color they are, whether they're black or green or 
gingerbread. Uh, it doesn't matter, they're all the same price. Uh, so this one here is gonna be $7.50. So $2 difference between these two. Uh, again, same kind of percentage increase. Uh, it kind of makes up for our, all of our extra expenses. But another thing came into play with our pricing this year, and it came, of course, at a horrible time, and that's that Proven Winners has um, made it mandatory that we carry all of their products in their branded pots. So we have to have everything that is a Proven Winners product in one of these kind of pots. And the pots we have to buy from them, and they are significantly more expensive, the pots and trays, significantly more expensive than what we pay for these here. So uh, for years, we have charged the same price for a proven winner's plant as we have all our other ones. Uh, not Most retailers don't do that. That was that we were actually kind of a rare breed in the, in the industry. Uh, we this year do have to do that because it will cost a dollar more for the comparable plants. So this here is a four inch pot. This is a one quart. And this one quart is bigger than the Proven Winners Grande. Uh, Grande is what you're probably gonna see in a lot of the big box stores as well. So you actually get um, a little bit, I actually have, have a sample here so you can see the size difference. So we're holding a, a little bit more soil and it's a little bit bigger around, not too much, but it, it, there is a difference. Uh, that's gonna give our plants a little bit of an advantage as we're growing them. So we're, we're not unhappy about that. Um, it's just tough to have now more pots to deal with and more price points to worry with about. Uh, it makes it a little more confusing for the customer, but we're getting through this okay, and I hope you're, you can get through it as well. Then for our larger size, and that larger size is always really important for like our salvias, dahlias, ornamental grasses, um, our geranthemum, uh, all those kind of plants, and coleus, a lot of the coleuses, the bigger ones, they just do so much better when they have that extra space, that extra time to develop, they have more roots, they're gonna do a lot better when you plant them out. So. Let me show you. This is the two quart round from Proven Winners. And there is, when you look at them this way, they look not that much different. But when you look at the top, it's a huge difference. There, this one holds twice as much soil. And you can actually, it's the same thing. And I'm gonna show you an example. I'm gonna show you an example here with this here. I have some soil in here. And when I pour that into this, so empty, full, I pour it in and give it a little tap. Oop, that was a bad idea. Uh, it's half full. I can fit two of these in one of these. So you're getting twice as much soil and it's really a benefit to those plants. And we only use, do it with the plants that we have to do it with. Most of the other plants like our petunias and calabrocoas and some of the other smaller plants, they do just fine in these. So we'll, we'll keep doing that. Uh, so I wanted to tell you about that. Uh, the other thing I want to tell you about is our plant on demand is going to start April 1st. That's where you get to pick kind of from our recipes or your own recipe. You can pick anything you want. And then you pick, so you pick your plants and then you can pick your pots. And so we've selected our upgrades uh, for the pots. So our standard pot is our dark wicker. And I have one here. Sorry, I'm gonna be going back and forth between this stuff. Uh, this is the dark wicker. It does come with the handles and, and the hook. So you can use it as a hanging basket or you could just use it as a pot. You know, it looks great just kind of sitting as well. Uh, so you can see that's it's about 12 inches across. And I did make sure uh, um, that on our website, we have the measurements. We measure across the top here. We measure this narrower distance under here. And we measure this bottom part here because a lot of people use these as kind of liner pots. So they'll set them inside a bigger pot. So I wanted to make sure that you knew that. So it might help you uh, pick the right pot. Uh, it, the best way to actually do that though is to actually put the pot in because you never know how the different curves and things are going to work. Uh, so uh, what I would suggest though, if you're not sure, get the smaller one or get the standard one. There's no extra charge for this one. And then you can always plant it into something bigger or into like a, a nursery pot or something that you find later. Uh, so you start smaller. It's easier to put something into a bigger pot than to try to get something bigger into a smaller pot. In fact, never recommend that. So. This is the standard pot, but then we have some upgrades. And I'm gonna show you those right now. It's gonna take me a second to get myself organized. In the hanging da basket department, the next size up is gonna be this black one. And this is nice, it's a little bit bigger. I think it's a 13 inch. It does hold a quite a bit more soil. So if watering's an issue, this one's gonna give you a little less watering. It comes with the black hooks. Uh, this one could also be used kind of as its own little porch pot if you wanted to. Uh, and it's called the wrapped design. And wrapped uh, describes this kind of, uh, I picture it as like m the mummy kind of tape 
going across. It's a really nice one. And it's a nice black. It's kind of a satin black versus some of the shiny black that you see. So it's, it's a nice one. And then the other hanging basket that we have is, we had this one last year. This is, now I'm trying to remember, I have a sheet with my measurements on it. You're gonna have to look online. This one is a great pot. This, I'm sorry, I got, I used part of it. Um, it's, it's really significantly larger than the other ones. Everything we planted in these pots last year did exceptional. Uh, they were, we, in fact, we ordered tons more because everyone was so happy with this pot. So if you really want a showy uh, hanging basket, this is gonna make quite a difference from, let's say, uh, this one here. So, sorry, let's see. Can you see the difference? I hope so. Uh, there is there is quite a difference in the amount of soil that it holds. Uh, we would still probably put the same number of plants in here. We could maybe fit one more in here, uh, but it's usually not necessary because the plants are gonna be so much larger in this size pot than they will in this one that you don't need to spend more on flowers. You just spend a little bit more on the pot. So great option. Then we do have gingerbread. No, sorry, gingerbread off made me hungry. Uh, we do have the cinnamon and the brown sugar pots and those are 16 inch. So those are nice and big. They hold lots of soil. Uh, those are perfect for the patio. They're perfect for the porch. They are really winners for us and things are going to do really great. Uh, they're also big enough to be able to hold, you know, things with the ornamental grasses and really give them a lot of room for their roots and for the water to kind of stay in there. So we love those. That's these two right here. So again, that was brown sugar. That one is cinnamon. And then we have this one over here. This one is called brushed gold and it is in the wave pattern. So it has this nice little wave design. And this one is a nice size pot. It's actually bigger than the other ones as well. So all really good options. Uh, I'll make sure, and if you go on the website, you'll be able to see them. Uh, when you go to the different recipes and you go to choose your pot, uh, there'll be pictures of them and there's also a drop down menu where you pick the one that you want and then whichever one you pick it just increases the price and the price includes the pot and it includes the extra soil or plants that we'll be putting in them so uh, it adds it up really nice for you so you know exactly what you're paying uh, and all of our plant on demands uh, they start at $44 and go up from there. So some of them are going to have uh, some of the bigger plants in them. Those are going to be a little bit more. Some of them are going to have a lot of proven winter plants. So we had to charge slightly more for those. Uh, but for the most part, you can get an amazing plant on demand uh, choice for $44 and up. So it's, it's really great. Now I want to show you oh, also doing those moss baskets, the hanging baskets uh, that I showed you before. So I'll kind of put those on the screen so you can see them. Those are really beautiful, great iron, beautiful uh, green moss in there. So we're happy with those as well. And then, oh, I do have another one. I, I got to show you this one. I have it hanging. You can see it right there. That is our super size one. That's an 18 inch. Uh, it's a wire frame and then it has the uh, cocoa liner in it. Those cocoa liners usually last two, three years. Some people get more out of them. Uh, the good thing is that with all these pots too, most of our baskets, most of the recipes flow over them. So they kind of get covered. But the only thing with that uh, big one is that you will want to replace that cocoa liner every once in a while. Uh, we tend to line them with some plastic, uh, make them last even longer that way. Otherwise you probably will only get one year if you don't line them. We do poke holes in the plastic so it has some drainage. Uh, so gosh, I'm just telling you all kinds of stuff today. Uh, I think I kind of want to, and do I have anything else I need to tell you? I think I've got this covered right now. So 550 for this kind, if it's a proven winner, it's going to be 650. And then we go up another dollar like this coleus will be 750. And I love this new coleus. It's really beautiful stuff. And then the proven winner's version, we're gonna find that coming in at 850. And actually this two quart holds a quite a bit more soil. Well, not quite a bit, but an, uh, actually holds more soil than you'd expect. So it looks like it's not, but it's actually holding the same amount of soil. It's just a different height. It is bigger when you look at the top. So there's there's uh, a, a difference in that. So. Hopefully this all makes sense to you. If you have questions, we're always uh, there to try to help you understand. I'm gonna show you some plants now that are in bloom and show you a couple other things uh, and then I'll kind of say goodbye from there. So uh, thanks for hanging in there and hey, thanks for helping us name two pots. 
So the caliber cores are looking great as usual. This one here is the red, the deep yellow, and that is the cha-cha tan tangerine. That's the one that actually gets, these are cabarets. This one is the cha-cha, gets a lot, little bit bigger, actually gets 20% bigger at least. Uh, this one over here is the cosmic pink petunia. I just love how it has that dark center and then that nice, almost like a fluorescent edge on it. Definitely stands out. Uh, the picture is a little bit different. So we'll see a lot of times with petunias, um, as the temperatures change, uh, the flower color kind of gets more true to itself. So we'll see how that goes. But even as it is, I think it's beautiful. This one here is, is this the giant blue? Let me see, yep, giant blue. Uh, that's another thing I was complaining about, colors of pots, well, colors of flowers. They call this one blue, which is actually purple. And the one that they call purple is actually magenta. So it's just crazy. Horticulture is just a funny business. And let me tell you about geranium names. They call them names like lavender and violet. And the colors on those geraniums look like no violet or lavender plant I have ever seen in my life. So I do not know who comes up with that, but drives me a little crazy. But anyway, rant over. Let me get back to the flowers. And this is the impatient. Look at the flowers on these looking just beautiful and uh, sorry but this is actually called lavender is the color so um, I guess I shouldn't have went on my rant and then showed you uh, a lavender flower sorry about that uh, I showed you the coleus already this is the illustrious colocasia that's an elephant ear this gets really big and the leaves stay nice and dark and black it's a really stunning one it's a big showstopper great thriller in the middle uh, you can see this is the truffle pink uh, we trim this back because it needs a pinch um, but it was starting to form its little fl pink flowers this one gets really big it's really beautiful and really easy to grow sweet potato vine or ipomia this one here is the new uh, for us it's new the unplugged pink salvia it's doing really well gets that really big rush of uh, pink flowers uh, and it's a little bit more of a mounding and almost trailing type you can put this kind in a hanging basket and then there's also the helianthus is finally starting to take off these are actually some of the buds, but we are going to pinch this actually in the next day or so because we want this to branch out and be much fuller than it is. Otherwise, it's just going to kind of get a little tall and could get spindly or tippy. Uh, we don't want that. That's the Mystic Allerg Illusion Dahlia, a little different than the other dahlias. It gets a whole bunch of smaller flowers, bright yellow, just real beautiful. Let's see. And well, let me take you. Oh, you know what? Well, I have some pots over there. I'm going to show you something with the pots. Let me, now this bright yellow pot, this is a pot my mom would want to have named after her because she loves her yellow. But the nice thing about this kind of pot, these can be heavy, they can be hard to haul around. And what you can do if you want is you could take your brown sugar pot, uh, have that planted out and use it as a liner pot. So this is what I mean by using it as a liner pot. Now it might bother some of you to have this rim showing. So you could get a smaller pot and it would sink down kind of like if I took the light wicker one, sorry, I'll take this one or the dark wicker, like in this one, it fits inside. Now it'll drop to the bottom if I'm not careful, but I can put either bricks or rocks or something that can just handle water. doesn't really matter. And I can just raise it up to whatever height I want and it'll fit nice and nice in there and you won't have to worry about it. And you don't have to do any kind of transplanting or do anything else with it. It's, it's pretty nice. One thing to remember though about this rim is that most of your plants are gonna grow over it. And within a couple weeks, you're not even gonna notice this. So something to consider. Um, the one thing I would say is be careful though about all your weight being on just this rim, depending on what kind of pot you have. And especially if you have a really cheap plastic pot, uh, maybe one that you found like at the dollar store, it might not be quite as strong as some of the others. Uh, it would be, wouldn't be a bad idea to have something underneath that pot holding it up. So you could just put some gravel in there or some styrofoam or something, anything really that's just going to give it that extra support so that you won't be putting all the pressure on this rim. Uh, so just something to think about. And that's the reason why I'm making sure to give you the measurements of all of our pots so that you can kind of estimate. But like I said, as a default, go with the one that we send you and then you can always transplant this into something else. Now, when you get this pot, they're going to be pretty well rooted unless you only ordered it a couple days before or a week before. Um, but once they're in here for two weeks, usually the roots fill this entire pot. And so you very carefully can take it out of this pot and then put it into another pot with more soil. So it, it works or you can ask us to do it. We might be better to do it that way too, if you're a little nervous about it. So, so you can see it just works out really well. So now I'm going to take you inside 
uh, three because I want to show you, you know, I, I talked to you a little bit about that supersized one. We actually have one even bigger than that one, uh, but I'm not going to show it to you because we only have a couple of them. So if you want it, you'll have to just contact us and we'll, we'll work out uh, how you're going to get that one. Um, but it's even bigger than that. But I'm going to show you how some things grow in there because those big pots, gosh, things just do great in them. So I'm going to show you those. Okay, so here in three, we've started our collection of hanging baskets. The furnace is on right now, so uh, don't mind the noise. Anyway, some of these larger ones, this is a little different than the one I showed you, but it is a good example. These were planted on Friday, and this was late in the day on Friday, and they, these plants have already grown just in the last two days. It's Sunday night, these were planted Friday night. They are so happy here, it's just incredible uh how how well they do once they get this extra room for their roots to grow bigger pots are the way to go it really does make a difference so uh just encouraging you to think big uh and i think you'll get big results so thank you very much for hanging out with me this evening i hope you got a lot of information i did want to also tell you that we'll be instituting a color tagging system for our hanging baskets so uh different colors mean different prices. So this blue one, this is going to be our standard one. This is going to be what a majority of our hanging baskets and pots are going to cost. They're $39. So if you see blue, you'll know what that means. Uh, we also have some other colors like yellow and pink and green. Uh, those are all different prices, some higher, some lower. So uh, you'll just have to look for the signage and you'll know that. We're hoping that at a glance, it'll be a lot easier for you to tell what price everything is rather than doing that hunting around uh, for prices. Uh, we're hoping it'll make it easier for you and for us so uh, just look for those tags and then any uh, uh, unique ones will be with a white tag with a regular kind of price ticket on it that'll tell the actual price as well so uh, that's how I want to end it remember the online store opens April 1st there's probably gonna be a little bit of a mad rush uh, I do recommend shopping early because there are items that we do tend to sell out of so uh, I'll talk to you guys all very very soon